Horses. 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 The horses. 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 For the horses. The horses. Horses. This is the second video in my animation challenge series, Money for the Salvation Army. See the description box below or watch until the end for information on how to sponsor me. Enjoy the video. And the weather has perked up at the end of this most miserable of winters for this race. Absolutely, Mark. Yes, hearing that bell ring for the jockeys to mount has just made my heart tick a little bit faster, Mark, as the seconds tick down towards post time at 4.15. It's a great scene here. Right, wherever you look, all over the track, there are flags, colourful dresses, smiling faces, all soaking up lovely Merseyside sunshine here this afternoon. Uh, someone told me today, you know, we spend our racing lives uh, up and down a pyramid, but we are right at the top of that pyramid today. Very, very few races matter as much as this one does, and I hope we have a race to savour in a few moments' time. We certainly do. There is so much anticipation around here at Aintree, and the first of the runners just starting to go down now, to leave the paddock, to go down to the start. A strong Welsh challenge this year, five runners, and keep talking about T for three in Capa Blair, the two of them trained uh, here by uh, Peter Bowen. Uh, the 166th running of this great race, never before has a female rider won it, and here Katie Walsh has just about the best chance ever to, to put that right for the fairer sex. It's a and Seabass is now 11 to 2 favourite. Favourite this morning at 12 to 1. That price has tumbled to 11 to 2. 8 to 1 on his own. 10 to 1 at T for 3. 11 to 1 Chicago Grey and Imperial Commander. They're edging towards the tape now for the 2013 Grand National. Will we get a first time start here? The crowd aware of it. We've got a first timer in the Grand National. They're away safely. Just passed by third, now by T for three, then Capablo is creeping closer. Sol on the inside, 
Greenville is next, one of the greys, it bounces, our king is dropped back, Seabass still has a small chance, followed over that one by Tarquinius, and then Rare Bob who's getting closer, and they've gone away now from Mumble's Head and Santar as they head across the Melling Road for the final time in the National. Mr Moonshine's been pulled up, any currency is miles behind, and Sunny Hill Boy will need to put in a miracle run. It is Oscar time, runner-up two years ago who leads from T for three in second place. Aurora's on for it, a massive price is in behind him in third place. Blood in behind those in fourth and trying to plug on. So too in behind them is Seabass. 